Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the final night of our virtual sessions for Omicron. Um, I was just thinking, are they for Omicron? I guess they're because of Omicron. They're because of Omicron. Um, we would like Omicron to go away, which it is actually mostly going Nearly away. There, yeah. Yep. So I think our purposes have been satisfied um, for doing these uh, five sessions. And we're so excited that you have joined us for the last few weeks, one more week than we expected. Thanks to everybody who came to the bonus session last week. Um, Chris, as you can see, has escaped COVID jail. I'm out of COVID jail. I'm recovered, feeling great. Um, thanks to everyone who sent me flowers and well wishes and everything last week. Uh, that was really, really sweet. Yes, and um, Chris came back to the apartment, but then he wore his mask for three more days just to um, get through the 10 official days of, of COVID. Yes. There should be a song like the 12 days of Christmas, yeah, yeah, 10 right, days of COVID. Right. Um, anyways, we're, we're back to being um, healthy here. And uh, let's see, the exciting thing about tonight is that we are going to play virtual bingo. Um, now, some of you might have done this before. It is fun and fast moving and sometimes somewhat chaotic, but it's, um, it's, it's great. I love it. Chris, do you love bingo? No. Chris does not love bingo, but he um, agrees to do it occasionally, and we haven't played bingo in quite some time. So I'm going to do it tonight. So before we play our first tune, I'm just going to tell you how that works. First thing is you need a bingo board, and um, Chris has pinned the link in the chat, but I'm also just going to put it in the chat right now. Just click on that, and it will gener generate you your own personal bingo board. And once you have that, you can just click on the squares in there um, to mark when you have uh, a, a tune, which I'm going to tell you about in just a second. If you make a mistake, you can just unclick it and the mark will go away. Everybody or some people always ask if you can print it out. Yes, you can print it out. If you're doing it online, it, this is really big brother, but I can see when, when you m make a mark. And we did have a false bingo once. Yeah. Um, so we will probably just make sure that your bingo is right. We will we... verify the bingo. Yeah. Trust but verify. Um, the bingos. So if you're doing it online, that's great. If you're not, then we can't see you, obviously, if you printed it out, but you, you can just tell us your name and we can look it up. Um, so the way it works is each time a tune is played on the session tonight, you can mark it. Um, you cannot just mark tunes that you know are going to be played. And I will tell you, there are some surprises that were not on the tune list. So don't do that. Um, and it, and um, you can't mark it until it has actually started being played in the set. Usually that doesn't matter, but sometimes when we're getting towards a lot of people having bingo, it matters. You know, right when the tune starts, you can you can mark it and put your bingo into the chat. Yep. Now there are other things on your boards that you might be wondering, like, can I mark that off? Let me just get a board up here so I can see. Um, okay, so um, there's some CD covers. Wait until you see the CD on screen. Uh, let's see. There's um, an owl, a picture of some kids with a moose. You have to wait until you see it on screen in order to mark it off. Okay, that's the rule. The middle square is free, the hummingbird, so you can you can mark that now. Um, let's see. Somebody was asking what the term Mario's OG means. I am not an expert on pop culture, but my understanding of the term OG, just to correct me if I'm wrong here, is it means original gangsta. Is that I true? So, yeah. Okay. So, um, and it has come to mean somebody who's like the original, the old school um, founders or, or like the, or the original people who did something. So the square that says, mark this if you're a Mario's OG, that means like you came from the Mario session before COVID started. If so, you can mark that. Um, if there are any other questions about the marking of things, uh, put them in the chat and we will answer them in just a second. 
Um, otherwise, the uh, I think we should play a set of tunes, yeah. maybe, and then we'll show you the prizes that are available tonight. There's a lot of great ones, um, but let's play a set of tunes to get started. So this first set is going to be Apples in Winter, The Yellow Wattle, and The Roaring Barmaid. The first two were um, requests. I can't remember who requested the first one, but I know that um, Rogan requested The Yellow Wattle, um, so we are excited to play those for them. And we'll get started here on the slower side of things. First one's E minor, D mix, D minor-ish, and G major. Okay, ready? Um, one, two, three, four. play that one really fast and I kind of like it at the slower speed. It's got it's a nice to play really slow. nice um, groove to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I see that a few people have joined us, latecomers, and I, I, we can only say the bingo stuff 
for a certain amount of time before you're just going to be too far too far behind to play bingo but we'll say it right now we are playing virtual tune bingo tonight and if you would like to join us anybody can just click the link for the virtual bingo board which is in the chat it's pinned in the chat and it's also the first line of the description down below um oh i should also say that over on the mario soundboard um the bingo link is there and also the prizes are there they are listed. And as people start winning, I'm going to try to erase the prizes that have gone like in real time so that you know what's what's left. In the past, it has gotten really disastrously exciting wow. trying to update. Well, remember I was trying to like draw on the picture and yeah, then like yeah, upload, yeah. upload the picture. It was a mess. So I'm going to try to just erase the text. Um, that's, yes, Chris has put the link up there. So you can go see the prizes there, but we are also going to put them right onto the screen right now. There's a whole bunch. I'm not saying we're gonna give all of these prizes away, by the way, these are your choices. We may not give all those away. I just wanted everybody to have like, a, you know, I want- Some incentive. These yeah. are good prizes, actually. Yeah. We usually don't have the best prizes. What? What are you talking about? We always have the best prizes. It's usually not great, but these are actually pretty good. <laughs> oh my God, I think we have the best prizes. Okay. okay, the first one, I have to just explain some things here though. The first one, um, which is a carbon fiber bow. This is a bow that I used for filming the uh, the Apple TV, Apple TV version of Come From Away. Now, um, first, probably people are wondering, like, why is she giving away all these bows? I mean, there's two bows on the list. I have somehow ended up with too many bows that are like um, carbon fiber, kind of cheap carbon fiber bows. They work great, and they are exactly what I always tell students to get, a cheap carbon fiber bow. But I have, I have just acquired a couple recently, and I just, I actually have no spots for them in my violin case. <laughs> So that's why I'm giving the way. The one that was used to film Come For Away, the reason I had to get a special bow was because I didn't actually play any real notes on that film. We all had to play <laughs> silently because, well, I don't want to get it's too far. It's movie magic, people. It's movie magic. We were just sitting there pretending to play Don't Tell Them That I Told You This. <laughs> but in order to do that, I had to have a bow that has no rosin on it. In fact, I had to keep going like this, which is so sacrilegious on my skin to get my skin oils on it so that it wouldn't make any sound. So if you pick this as your prize it's cool because it was in the movie but you probably will have to rehair it <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or use it as your own silent bow at home okay so that's the explanation for the first two prize i think all the other prizes are self-explanatory but if you have a question you can let us know okay what was the name of that tune uh the last one was um roaring barmaid yes yes before you... that it was the yellow wattle and apples in winter right for anybody just joining. Brooklyn Americana was asking. Oh yeah, she, okay, she came from my class. Oh, cool. So I just realized that Rogan's not here probably because she's in the level six ah, Irish Arts Center class. That's I was just teaching until five minutes before we started and I ran out here to teach it. The timing is not good with the Irish Arts Center classes, right. unfortunately. Um, okay, so let's go to our first guest set. And during that time, we will check your comments and make sure there's no questions that need answered. Sounds good. Um, our first guest tonight is uh, once again, the lovely and um, extremely highly, handsome, extremely handsome and highly intelligent um, Alistair White, who lives up in the Bronx, our neighbor. Hello, Alistair. And he's um, he's got some tunes and I think he deals with the theme. He does. Yeah. OK, here we go. Hello, tune suppliers. Alistair White here. Thanks very much for having me this week on Marvels and Malfunctions. I thought I'd take this opportunity to share with you my favourite malfunction, which centres around the A82 in Scotland, a road that runs from Glasgow all the way to Fort William, passing through Crean Larich. So it's a major artery for traffic running from Glasgow, one of the major cities, to all points west, pretty much, on the west coast. Now, the A82, there's a stretch that runs along Loch Lomond side, and eventually, over the years, due to erosion and high levels of traffic, the road became so narrow that on, only one vehicle could pass at a time. The local authority thought they'd uh, try and avert this hazard by introducing uh, a safety measure, a temporary set of traffic lights. A temporary set of traffic lights that remained in place for 40 years, installed in the mid-70s and finally replaced with a lovely new stretch of road in 2015. So what once was a malfunction eventually became a bit of a marvel and very famous, um, albeit a bit of an eyesore and uh, a bit of a traffic hazard. You can't win them all. Enjoy your tunes. I'll see you soon. All the best. Bye.
That's one of my favorite tunes, that, that last one. Great set. Yes. Um, I don't know what the name means, but I, it's, it's a great tune and a great name. Um, okay, I will say, this is the last time I'm going to say it. If you ha just joined and you want to play bingo, it might be possible to keep up with... It's going to be a challenge. Yeah, you could slide us back in time. You can actually slide us back in time while we're talking, which is really strange. You can actually slow us down, too, which is really odd. Yeah. Um, anyways, you can grab a bingo board from the pinned comment there if you want to really quick. You can slide back and see the tunes that have happened. But up, I think I think from here on out, it's just going to be the be folks who are... Up. It's going to be tough to catch up. Okay. Um, we had some questions about the bingo boards, which I answered um, Humors of Glendart second time means somebody is going to play Humors of Glendart again. Yes. Looking so, into the future. Yeah. The next time that tune is played, you can mark second time. Yeah, you can you only mark that. it if it says first time yeah. on your board there. Um, also, I forgot to say that um, there's some, I hope these are self-explanatory, but there's two squares that say mark if you met Forrest the Sea Lion and mark if you met Kigik, the Snowy Owl. So those are for the people who actually came and, and met those those animals. I think everybody got that. Any other questions that you saw that were important here? Um, um, how to get the session and your bingo board going out at the same time. Um, oh, yeah. You can try opening a new tab and putting yeah. the bingo in a new tab. Yep. And then you can just switch back and forth. Yeah. I think you can do that on your phone, too. It's like yep. a little more complicated. But you can also just print your bingo board or if you, if you have a printer there and mm -hmm. just play it with on paper. That's fine. Yeah. It sounded like Alistair played four tunes. He only played three, but he plays them so well. Maybe it's just they're so interesting when he plays them. I think he played the second tune many, many times. I was thinking... Hmm. It was at least four times, yeah. I think. That might have been it. But, um, okay, thank you to Alistair. Here we go on to, the, on to the rest of the stuff. Oh, I should say, there is a theme for tonight. Although there with, is, yes. With, Alistair with, kindly introduced it for yes, us. Yes, he did. With bingo going, we actually don't have a ton on the theme besides community pictures that are coming up. But the theme is, for the record, we always have a theme, um, marvels and malfunctions is the theme, which I feel like is just the theme for uh, the world these days, especially mm -hmm. during coronavirus times. Um, so we'll have a little bit on that a little bit later. But for now, we just wanted to tell you that courtesy of my mother, who I, she, I think she's here. I think she announced the temperature in Fairbanks was three Minus degrees. Minus four or something, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, courtesy of my mom, um, who was our chief um, merch officer, um, all of the shirts and t-shirts that were ordered in January are in the mail. All of them. So if you exciting. don't get yours in the next few days, oh, yeah. let us know and we will sort you out. Yes, or, or if you get the wrong one or yes. whatever, it's damaged, just let us know and we'll or take care of it. Or if you don't like it and yeah. you're like, I, please take this back. If it's not as totally soft fine. as promised. Yes, all of those things. That's just not going to be know. the case. But. No, but if it is, yeah. if it is. Um, and we also want to say that we, in a huge rush today, um, got the inventory sorted out and we put the rest of that. We, we did order extra shirts and t-shirts and stuff. We put those back on the, on the store. So you can now order that that part of the store was closed for a long time, but you can now order if you missed out on ordering the first time, go for it. Um, it's at store.tune.supply. Um, yeah. Okay. And they look, you guys have seen them because, well, you're wearing one. <laughs> Here's the t-shirt. Okay. I got to say the most popular garment in this order was this sweatshirt. <laughs> And I'm, I'm betting that it's because of my brilliant modeling of it. Absolutely. Yeah. That's true. The slate, the slate sweatshirt was the most popular item. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you, you get yeah. extra cut for, for that. Um, okay. And then we mentioned at the beginning of the Omicron sessions that um, we had new merch coming um, and lots of new initiatives and stuff. And those things are all still in the works. In my head, when an idea pops in there, I'm pretty sure that I can get that idea like completely done and out into the world in like 24 hours. That's how it works in my head. Yeah. And it never actually works like that in real life. So all of those things are still in the works, but they're just going to take a bit longer. Um, we do have a new zip hoodie coming from uh, Anna Carlton doing the design. And we're going to put, I think it's going to be rolling waves down the sleeves. Um, keep in touch with us uh, through Facebook and make sure you're on the mailing list so we can let you know when those things come out. Yes. And we're going to do pint glasses and hats and all. Well, we all forgot to show. Things. We had some pictures uh, of the oh. shirt. Um, the shirt operation. operation. <laughs> this is up in Fairbanks. That's uh, the chief. With Dusty Truffle here. Yeah. Chief cat assistant. Mm -hmm. um, and this is. <laughs> This is like one one twentieth of the number of orders, like all on my mom's counter, getting ready to go to the post office. We we owe my mom greatly, um, and I we have a plan for how to pay her back because she will not take any money. But I have a plan for what we're gonna do. Don't tell her I said that. Okay. Um, before we have our next um, guest, we're just gonna have a little tiny drink. Oh here. yes. Um, do you want to introduce it? We have. Um... 
So if you have been watching the session for a while, you might remember the Lemoncello uh, saga. And um, there's been multiple bottles of Lemoncello shipped to us. Um, illegally. Illegally. From Peter Rahill and from also I don't from, see their names. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. It Peter wasn't Rahill, that, that lawbreaker. Um, <laughs> Actually, and, I think it wasn't illegal once it was sent, right. like, not by USB. Yes. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so Peter sent us some Lemoncello. And then later, I think Bob Beamer yes. sent us some Limecello. <laughs> or was it Orange Cello? I can't remember. Anyway, we have here some of um, Peter's high gravity lemon cello, yeah. which we're going to sample. In our um, our cups that um, Arthur De Benigno. De Benigno sent to us. Yes. Um, so if you have lemon cello on your board, you can mark that off. Mm. And if you have a drink, drink to cheers with. Here's the actual bottle. It's actually, he put it in an Everclear bottle. <laughs> um, so. We'll yeah. do a little, um, a little cheers. To, this is to everybody who is still hanging in with us on Tunes of Life after nearly two years. Nearly two years. Nearly two like, years, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. OK, cheers. Cheers to you all. Very tasty. Very nice. I have to have my 10 seconds of silence after yeah, I drink the limoncello. it's pretty serious. Let it, wow, so good. OK, and, and we only drink it on the session, so it's like a real yeah. treat. Um, great, OK. I warmed up with a drink of bourbon, so I, it didn't affect me in the same way that I think it did. Yeah. I was teaching for the last yeah, three hours. Yeah. Um, okay, great. So let's move on. This is going to be a double set. Um, we have so many guests tonight that um, we're putting some of them together to prevent me from talking too much. So our first, oh, I still, <laughs> you should introduce them. I'm still recovering from the um, Who do we have? Oh, okay. Brian. So we have Brian Conway um, coming to us from just north of New York City, I yeah, believe, Yeah, see right? Westchester? I think so, yeah. yeah. And uh, after that, we'll have Kendall Rogers and Katie Geringer in Houston, Texas. We got to meet um, Kendall recently at um, the O'Flaherty retreat, yeah. and it was so much fun to play with him in real life, and we hope to do it more. Yes. Uh, but yeah, okay, a couple sets of tunes. Hi, everybody. Uh, special thanks to Caitlin Warblow for inviting me to participate in Tune Supply again. I chose three hornpipes, three Ed Reavy tunes, and they're all in the key of G. The first one's called Munster Grass. Second one, Lotto Burns, and the third one, Bridget of Knock. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Food supply. And we are in Houston, Texas. We're going to play a set of jigs. The first tune is Banks of Loch Gauna, and Loch Gauna or Calf Lake is located in Longford County. And there's a legend about a calf that has fallen into a well but is magically able to climb out and escape and runs north. But there is a stream of water from the well that follows the calf. And when he stops in County Longford, the water pools around him and floods the area and turns into a lake. So that's where the name comes from. Um, uh, so that's pretty marvelous. And maybe there's a malfunctioning well involved too. The second tune is Flying Wheelchair. And this is written by the fiddler and composer, Charlie Lennon. So now we've got a malfunctioning wheelchair or maybe it's a very well-functioning wheelchair. Um, the third tune is Rock in the Boat. This is written by Martin O'Connor, and he dedicated this tune to an Irish filmmaker named Bob Quinn, who, in Martin's words, um, he was not afraid to rock the boat. And he was referring to several documentaries that he made that were about the origins of the Irish people. Um, but we're going to take the literal meaning of this and say that this is a potential malfunction. One, two, one.
Those chords were great. Dig it. Yes. So cool. Thank you, guys. Um, and Brian Conway, oh my gosh. Yeah. It's been a, been a bit since he's been on the session. Yes. If you don't know who, who Brian Conway is, you should. He is... Um, <laughs> He is an uh, incredible um, player, but also one of the best teachers of Irish fiddle in the country or maybe the world. Um, he yeah. has taught a lot of the um, All Ireland winners in the in recent times. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, he is spectacular. Um, so if you ever get a chance to take a workshop or a lesson with him, do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay, so in all the excitement over the bingo uh, extravaganza, we forgot to say that um, we are still con collecting contributions for tonight. Uh, most right. of you, I'm sure, already know this, but I just want to say it out Many loud. Many of you have already contributed. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, everybody knows the, the, the um, scheme already. Yeah. Um, the scheme, yeah. You know, the word scheme is interesting because um, in, in Europe and other places, like in Ireland, the word scheme is not a negative word. Right. It's just like the plan. Right. And in, in America, it's like, oh, that's bad. There's a connotation to yeah. it. Yeah. I wonder how that came about. Um, anyways, the uh, box is on Chris's head, and it's in the description of the video, and I will try to remember to put it in the in the chat. Um, Chris actually counted up the number of artists that, that have been on or will be on by the end of tonight for the Omicron sessions, and it's uh, 49, 51 if you count us. Um, does Toast count? No. No, he's pretty lazy. Mm -hmm. um, and that's more than usual for five sessions, and your contributions have been allowing us to pay the musicians what we told them we would pay them without having to dig into our pockets yet. So I, we really appreciate that. Um, and thank you for keeping it going strong right up until the end tonight. Um, it's, it is much appreciated by us and by the whole community of, of professional musicians who um, are supported by, by you guys, by TuneSpy. Um, okay, also, I, I, I forgot that I wanted to note one of the prizes on the prize sheet, and I thought of it because of Kendall's Amazing Chords, and it is um, a CD by Aidan Connolly. Um, Aidan has been on the sessions a number of times. He's a fiddle player. Um, we got a copy of his CD that just came out the other day, and Chris was like, you have to listen to this, and I was running around doing who knows what, and he was like, no, you got to sit down and listen to this, and he just started playing, and I was like, what the heck is that? It is like nothing I've ever heard before in a in a good way. It is yeah. It's the type of thing where you put it on and like you can't do you just have to listen to it because it's such a feast for the ears and it is so different than other recordings and it goes where you don't think it's going to go. Yeah, it's pretty stunning. Highly recommend yeah. Aiden's album even if you don't win it on Bingo. Yeah. Check it out. Portland Bow it just came out this year. Believe. Yeah, yeah, a couple of, like a month ago. I was singing after you played it. Well, you made me listen to it, which I appreciate. Yeah. Um, I think that Aiden is going to go on to my list of favorite fiddle players. I think yeah, he's, he's phenomenal because there's two on there now, and I think he's gonna he's gonna be the third one. It, it's yeah. just it's just incredible. Um, okay, he didn't he didn't pay us to say that, by the way. No, he didn't. Hint, hint. No, we, we actually paid him. Yes, we. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yes. we bought the album. Yes, and we're going to buy another one for whoever wants it. So, yeah. yes, um, to check it out. Okay, more tunes. So, we're going to play a set. Right? Yeah, we're going to play a set. Um, and I'm just going to introduce it because it's, 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 uh, interesting. it's an interesting tune. It was written by Joe Mann, the first tune. And if you came to the bonus session last week, you learned it. It is the Omicron uh, variant hornpipe. Um, we are going to put it with the rights of man, which was one of the suggestions by Joe for what might go after it. And That's it, really it is quite nice, actually. Yes. <laughs> and it actually matches, like all the triplets yeah. match pretty well. Um, if you missed out on learning the tune or you just want to try to um, sight read along, the sheet music is over on the soundboard page. Um, just scroll through all the, the prizes. <laughs> it's below all the prizes and you can play along. So let's do it. Omicron, we're going to play it kind of up to speed. And then rights of man. <clears throat> First one's in G, and second one's in E minor. Uh, ready? Uh, one, two, three. <laughs>
that was cool. Well that, what, what was going on right around here? That was really cool. Noodling. I looked over and there was there were little. That was great. Really good. Um, okay, so let's see. There were some questions. Uh, Aiden's last name is Connolly, and the name of the CD that we were mentioning is called the Portland Bow. And there was something else. Oh, somebody asked if Alistair CDs are on the Teen Supply store. Um, no, we have had some CDs on the store. Uh, they've been ones that are not available elsewhere in America at this point. We might put some other stuff on. We're not sure just yet. But here's yeah. the thing. Um, if you go to tune.supply slash media, we have listed all of the Bandcamp pages for all of the Tune Supply artists. And that isn't doesn't involve, Bandcamp's a whole other thing, but it's a great website that we all use to sell our CDs and, and other stuff. And it's one of the few platforms that's good good to musicians. Um, and it, it, so Not Spotify. <clears throat> not Spotify. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so if you do want to buy music from artists, Bandcamp is a really good place to check out. Um, there's so many people on there, though, it's hard to find, like, trad musicians. There's not a trad musician category. Right. So we keep that list just so you guys can jump over there and find it. Um, Tune Dust Supply slash media. And I think we, we I'm, I hope we have Alistair's CD on there. I don't know. Hopefully. Hopefully. If not, we should add it. Um, okay. Uh, oh, we're on the second page. Hold, please. Let's get my notes out. Okay. Um, all right, so we, um, we mentioned that there were a whole bunch of projects, initiatives that we wanted to get done at the beginning of Omicron, and, and only a few of them. I guess a couple of them have happened. Just yeah. today, another one got yeah. done. Um, but one of them was that um, we have our lesson page back up on the store. So you can now oh. um, purchase lessons from individual artists, um, and it's arranged by instrument. So you could go in and see who is teaching. If the person that you want is not on the list, just get in contact with us. Usually we can um, make it happen or just send you directly over to the teacher. Um, but uh, I highly encourage you to you know, take advantage of um, all the artists who are teaching online now, which was not the case entirely before the pandemic. Um, and I know uh, the musicians really like to teach and they, you know, it's very helpful to have, have um, a bit of extra work. So check that out. That's over at store.tune.supply. And um, we are going to do some more virtual learning stuff. <laughs> I know we've been saying this for a long time, but mm. it is moving forward. We're going to try to do a few short Zoom classes with some of the teachers so that you guys can actually inter uh, interact in person with them in a group setting. It'd be a little cheaper per person. So just um, keep uh, updated on Facebook and on our mailing list, and we will let you know when that happens. Yep. I think the first one is going to be Jerry O'Connor. He's quite excited about teaching class. Good, good. So we will try to good. make that happen. Who are the duo square on your bingo card? They're too dark to tell. The duo square? Who are the duo square? I don't know. Hmm. Duo du square. What is the duo square? I don't know. Is it? What do you mean by duo? Is it two, two people? Uh, oh, okay. It is quite dark. That we have not mentioned that We're not particular. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. You will know when it, it, you'll see. Yeah, it will yeah. come on screen, and you'll be able to tell. That, you'll promise. see that exact image on the screen. Yeah. So all of the pictures, you'll see the exact image come on screen, except for the toast picture. He is going to make an appearance at some point when he chooses to, and at that point, you can mark the toast picture. Right now, he's choosing to sleep on my office chair. Yeah, he's quite, um, quite lazy. Uh, okay. Next set. Oh, this is really cool. Anna. Yes, this is great. So we asked Anna if she wanted to play uh, on the session, and she said yes, but she was going to be away from Alistair or something like that. I'm not sure. I think Alistair might be on tour or something. Yeah. And so I said, well, why don't you do a solo Baron set? And she said yes. So the idea here is that she has actually picked two tunes, two specific tunes, and they are the Star of Munster and the Silver Spire. And she's going to back them on Baron, mm -hmm. and you guys are going to play the tunes at home. But there's, no, there's going to be no melody on the screen. So... I'm Maybe pretty... we should remind them how those tunes start. Oh, sure. Star of Monster. Yes. Yeah. And Silver Spire. Silver Spire is... Um... Yeah. Okay. So it's three times on each tune. Um, and what she is doing matches the um, melody of the tune because that's how good Anna is. Um, okay, I wish I could see and hear what's going to happen out there because I'm like so excited about this. But okay, report back and tell us how it goes. Yeah, uh, yeah. okay, have fun. <laughs> Hello, Marios! My name is Anna Colleton. I know many of you. I'm so glad to be here with you all again. 
Uh, and by here, I mean my bedroom in the Bronx, but I am glad to be a part of this as always. And the theme of today's session is marbles and malfunctions. And I didn't have any malfunctions that I thought I should share with the wider internet, but I did have a marble. And this is my favorite bridge in the whole world. This is the fourth rail bridge. Um, I love it so much that I have a print of it that hangs in our kitchen. And uh, it is outside of Edinburgh, Scotland. It is a railway bridge. 200 trains a day cross it on average. It is the second longest cantilever bridge in the world. The first, I believe, is in Quebec. Now you know. And uh, yeah, in real life, it's bright red. It's really stunning. And it takes 63,000 gallons of paint to paint it bright red. And I don't know how often they do that, but um, it sounds like it's a pretty big ordeal. Um, and it's been designated as Scotland's greatest man-made wonder. So go there and see it and eat some delicious Indian food while you're in Edinburgh because they do that really, really well. So we're going to do something a little bit different today, which is that I am going to accompany you. And this is how we're going to do it. So I have in my ears a recording that the uh, brilliant and charming and handsome Mr. Alistair White was kind enough to make for us. And what he is doing is he is playing two tunes three times a piece at roughly 90 BPM for your reference. Um, so we're going to do the Star of Munster three times through, and then we're going to transition into the Silver Spire, and we're going to do that three times through. And I will try and give you a little hups and, and shouts along the way, uh, just in case you get lost. I'll try and tell you when we're coming around to the next time through or um, when we're going to switch into the Silver Spire. Um, but hopefully that's accurate because playing and talking is not easy. So I will do my best and I'll count you in. So I'm going to listen to Alistair. He's going to count me in and then I'll count you in. So you're going to hear from me. I'm going to go two, three, four, and then we're all going to start together. At least that's the plan. So let's give it a shot. All right, here we go. Starting with the Star of Munster three times through. Two, three, four. Turn through.
second part. Last time. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. It was great to be here. I'll see you all soon. Cheers. Woo. That was cool. Very cool. That was really cool. I was noodling along with Anna there. Yes. Um, and I was thinking that we should do more of that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, we had James backwards. Yoshizawa on a long time ago. Mm -hmm. He did a solo Baron thing, yeah. um, which was really cool. Oh, we didn't have James this. We, didn't have James, yeah. we, should, we should see if he's available. James has a gig every night. He's too busy for That's us. That's true. That's true. James is very much in demand. That was a there was a moment in time during the pandemic when he wasn't, and then yeah. it, and then it's like it was the gone. only time you could ever book James yeah. Yoshizawa. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, uh, we should. I was thinking we should also do some backer like um, guitar and bazooki backer yeah. videos like that. Yeah. Um, we'll put it on the list of things that we want to do. The list is really long. The list but, is really um, long. It's on um, the list. Eventually, so. we'll get to it. There are too many ideas and not enough time. Um, sometimes we act like there's like 50 hours in the day to do things. Yeah. Um, without any sleep and mm. there's not actually so uh, we'll keep working away at um, various initiatives that we have going um, but actually like five minutes before I had to start teaching my Irish Arts Center class at 6 p.m. tonight we got the tunogram page back up on the store the tunograms used to go by the by the very boring name personalized perform what was it I mean I can't even remember that's how bad the name was personalized video performances or something like that anyways yeah. Um, we should have thought of a more clever name um, before now, but we we now have, and they are now called tunograms. And it's we have kind of streamlined the whole thing. A lot of you I know purchased these tunograms, but um, it's much much simpler and easier now. And you can also select it, select the artists that you want. Um, so uh, if you have the tunogram uh, artwork on your board, you can cross that off. And then at some point, go over to the Tune Supply store and check it out. Um, once the sessions are done, we, we will try to continue on our, our quest to find initiatives that get money into the pockets of artists. And the Tunograms one is, was the original idea that started Toonsply. In fact, that was what we thought Toonsply was going to be entirely, was people would buy um, a little video um, performance from an artist, and we would send the artist some money, and we would give the customer the video. And we've done how many of them? I don't even know. Hundreds. Hundreds, yeah. hundreds and hundreds, hundreds. of these. Um, and uh, we took them down during our break, but they are back up now. We have added the ability to order an audio-only recording. And um, the reason is I know like some, some folks out there who are learning tunes, you, you might just want you know a great musician to play the tune uh, or a couple tunes for you so that you can learn the tune and you don't care so much about the video. Um, so that is now an option. Um, and again, if you don't see the artist you want on there, go ahead and tell us and we will try to get them for you. Um, yes. Okay. Great. I have other like initiatives that I always want to talk about, but maybe I should just stop talking about them until they're ready to go. Perhaps. There's one that I'm calling a treasure chest. I'm just going to put that out there and I'm hoping that I can get the treasure chest going by March. We'll see. I think we'll see. Uh, that's on. I haven't the actually heard of this, so I don't know. Yes, you have. You haven't heard of the name of it. Okay. I just great. came up with the treasure chest great, name like great, 10 great. minutes ago. Great. Um, okay. But We'll talk about that later. Um, let's move on to some words. Now, we are not going to play the word game tonight because um, uh, Hannah Vadin ended us on a great old English word game note. But she Also, we're already playing a massive game. We're playing lots of yeah. games. Too many games. But um, uh, Hannah sent us some more old English words, and they were so good that we just wanted to put them on the screen for you because they're, they're awesome. Um, OK, so yes. Now, these are called, oh, shoot, I where is it? What's the? Oh, kenning. It's a ke okay. A poetic compound of two words to mean something different, a sort of riddle. It's called a kenning, and they are common in Old English. 
So maybe you can guess what these words mean real quick, not in the comments, just in your heads, and I will tell you what they are. Um, so you remember Waferganga, which was the word from last week, mm -hmm. or from her week, yeah. that was a kenning. Um, so Swego candle, sky candle means the sun. Um, how do you think you say that second one? Whale? Whale leg? Whale leg? Whale leg? I don't know. Means whale, uh, means the ocean. Whale path. Whale path yeah, means good. the ocean. I love that. And do you want to try the last one? Bonhus. Bonhus means the body. Yeah, Isn't the that bone great? house. This is what I do when I can't remember a word. I make up a kenning like this. Yeah. And what would I, I couldn't remember the word rain the other day, so I called it earth water, which really isn't, yeah. it's actually not that good. Um, okay, and then she sent us another one when Chris was in COVID jail. And this means sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Fineo, Fineo Fineo song? Song? It kind of sounds like it's yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Thank you, Hannah, for sending those Yes, in. and we're really looking forward to getting Hannah's book when it comes out. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's have some more tunes. This is going to be another double set. Um, the first... Oh, you, you want to introduce the first one? Yeah, the first, um, the first video is really cool. So I, I think we've mentioned that Caitlin and I took a trip to Colombia, to Medellin, Colombia, in August. And um, I wrote to somebody on Facebook and because uh, I saw they were having a session, I said, hey, like, is the session on? Can we come join you? And they were so kind uh, to host us at the session uh, in Medellin. And it was their first session their back. their first session back from, yeah, from their COVID, COVID hiatus, yeah. right? Um, and so we got connected with a few musicians from the session and we had Juan uh, Esteban on the other day, a couple weeks ago on the session. And um, tonight we have Carolina Arango and David Gaviria uh, from Medellin. Yeah. And um, they're going to play a hornpipe and some reels, I think. Yes. And then we'll go straight into a set from uh, Morella Murray on the accordion. And Morella, of course, is from Cherish the Ladies. Yeah. And she's over in Ireland. I actually don't know where in Ireland. Do you know? I should have. I should know. Uh, she's in County Galway. She mentions it in okay. her, her video. All right. Here we go. Hello, everyone. My name is Carolina Arango. This is David Gaviria. We are from Medellin, Colombia, in South America and we are very happy to be here with you today sharing these tunes. We are going to play a set starting with a hornpipe called the Home Ruler and then we are going to play a reel called the Coal Miner and into another reel called the Trip to Collinstown. So we hope you enjoy. Let's go.
See you next time. Yep, bye. Well, hello everybody. How's it going? Marilla Murray here. I'm playing piano accordion. I'm coming to you from West Connemara here in County Galway in Ireland. And um, thanks to Caitlin and Chris for inviting me to play a set of tunes. So we'll get going. Um, the first tune is Joe Cooley's in the key of E minor. Second one is um, uh, The Wise Maid in the key of D. And the third one is The Boys of Mallon in the key of A major. So we give these a go, all right? Twice each. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Yes, it's I a, love that last tune, Boys of Mallon. Yes, fantastic. Um, and you were saying the, you like the basses. Yeah, the basses. Okay, so I love playing button accordion. Um, however, I I'm not very good at playing. Well, I'm not very good at playing it in yes, general. Sir. But I'm especially not good at playing the basses. And I feel like the basses on a keyboard accordion are like you've got access to every bass at any time. There's no limit. It's great. Chris got his new accordion, and um, I was teaching a tune on my. Um, on my YouTube channel yesterday, which we're going to play in a second, 
And Chris was playing it on the accordion and he goes, oh shoot, I can't play this tune because I don't have a B flat. And I was like, yeah. that would be very strange to me to not have a note that I needed to use. Yeah. That's like, yeah. that's very strange. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay, we had our first oh, we bingo. Had bingo. We had a bingo. Um, Sally won the first bingo of the night. Uh, so to see the prizes, just go to the Mario's soundboard page, which is, um, or the Tune Supply soundboard page, which is tune.supply slash sounds. And the list is there. And Sally, if you can tell us what you choose, then we will delete it from the list for future bingo winners. Yes. Um, Everyone uh, else who's still playing bingo, there will be multiple bingo winners. So keep playing. It's not over. It's not, yeah. We do a weird oh, yeah. version of bingo. I guess we didn't say, we yeah, didn't we say, didn't say that. that. So keep playing. It's not, and we're not done. There's multiple winners. Sorry. Yes. We're not sure how many. We, yes, yes. There's, we just keep playing bingo yeah. until the end, basically, until, or until we run out of, of um, prizes, which I don't think we're going to run out actually this time. I don't think um, so. When I make the bingo boards, I have to guess how many people are going to attend the session and play bingo. And in the past, I've guessed um, too little. And there's been way, there's been a ton of bingo winners. And tonight, I think I guessed too many. And it's the opposite. I can see the boards and like a lot of you are very close, but you're I, going to win, but not until the end. So you have to stick yeah. around. Yes, there'll be a number of winners, at least by uh, more winners by yeah. the last set. But here's what we're going to do, um, just because I want lots of people to win. I'm going to just give you two more squares, okay? They're not going to be played, but you have to be listening right now to get them, because I'm just going to say them. Um, they are Wheels of the World is one, okay? If you have Wheels of the World, you can mark that off. And the other one is a deceptive picture square. I added a picture that you're not going to see on the screen, and you're going to you, and I'm going to tell you what it is, and you can mark it if if you have it. It is a picture of a river with some with greenery and flowers in the front. There's some pink flowers in the front, and some some mountains in the background. It's the same picture that was on my YouTube teach yesterday. If you have that picture of the river with the flowers in the front and the mountains in the background, you can mark that and wheels of the world. Okay, just to just to get the just to get, get the bingo going. Get the bingo going because like bingo's flowing. Yeah, okay. I like to have a lot of bingos when we play bingo. Yeah, and I think I might have put too many tunes on the on the list. So okay, okay great. So what's next? Oh, poem. The poem. The poem from from Mimi and um, Mimi. This is we were counting. This is Mimi's eighty second poem that mm -hmm. she's done for the virtual session. So we want to say thank you so very much to Mimi and Amos for the poems. Um, okay, here we go. Hi, Tune Supply friends, it's Mimi and Amos uh, with this week's especially dreadful poem, uh, for which I, I ask your forgiveness now in advance. Uh, it is um, in honor of this week's theme of malfunctions. I'm going to read it in a French accent. Sometimes malfunctions can mess things up big time. For us, that would mean that not all lines would rhyme, or that Amos's hat would be replaced by that, and that he would not bark, but would only mime. But other times, malfunction can bring a surprise. And it can make you see something new with your own eyes. Take Tune Supply here. In the past couple years, from pandemic, we make beautiful improvise. So, told you it was bad. Uh, we hope you're all doing fine, staying safe, keeping well. Please chip into the box if you can. And... Um, we're looking forward to seeing everybody in person as soon as possible, as soon as the coast is clear, uh, spring is coming. And thanks to everybody who made tonight's show especially fun and lovely. But most of all, hip hip hooray for Chris and Caitlin once again. Uh, just, you're just such amazing human beings. We're so lucky to share the planet with you. You, you give me hope for, for the species. Um, be well, eat your kibble, all right? Take care, bye. <laughs> Woo! That was, that was an incredibly artistic poem. I love the black and white and the hat and the hat game. That was amazing. So Mimi said that she wanted the poem to look French. Today. It did look French, um, and it sounded But French. I realized also it was very on theme with uh, malfunctions. Yeah. Because her color was malfunctioning. Well, didn't she say that at the beginning? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, thank you, Mimi. 
um, the, the, the feeling is reciprocated in terms of um, feeling lucky to share the planet with you. So thank you. Thank you for everything. Um, okay, we have a, a special visitor, Toast. So the Toast Report. The Toast Report. Um, um, there uh, is a square on your board for Toast, so you can cross that off if you would, would like to. And um, if you stick around to the very, very end, uh, we Chris made some credits um, for the session tonight, and there's a there's a little 10 second clip of, of Toast doing something very bad at the end. You have to stay a long time to see that, though. Yeah, at the very end. Um, okay, don't forget to contribute to the virtual box if you can. I'll put yeah. that link in the chat there. In Here's just the real a box. It looks like that in real life. Yes, um, and actually, I was going to just say that the in person Mario session has not restarted just yet, um, and we will keep you updated um, when that happens. I will send a message to the virtual session um, list, and Mimi actually uh, keeps a uh, separate mailing list for the in-person session. If you're not on that and you want to be, um, you can get in touch with me or with Mimi directly if you um, if you have her email address, but I'm happy to facilitate. And then uh, she'll keep you up to date on the upcoming leaders once we do get started up again. Um, perhaps we'll see in a few weeks. Um, okay, so um, the next, oh, that's oh, nice. That was nice. <laughs> Toasty's contribution to the session. <laughs> Um, the next guest artist um, is, uh, I always say his name wrong, Martin de Cogan. Martin de Cogan. That was a bit better than previous tries. Um, his, uh, his performance that he's prepared for us is, is quite long. So I promised you guys last week that um, if you wanted to, you could participate in an extra game, um, right? And we'll do it right now. I hope, I hope some people were thinking about this the whole last week. And this was um, a game we came up with on the fly last week during the bonus session, uh, which is create the name of a tune, like a real tune, not a fake tune, a real tune using just emojis. Um, so if you thought about your answer, there were so many great ones last week, I said that we would just um, postpone it to this week. So if you thought about it this week, or if you want to come up with one on the fly, put it into the chat and I will select one or two winners of that and you can also those winners can just select from the prize board okay at the end 10 minutes on this and this is a song so I hope you can um, sing along with Martin hello everybody Martin the Kogon here all the way from California delighted to be with you here as tune supply bring us back together and here I am uh, in my cozy room ready to sing you a song from Cork. Did I tell you I'm from Cork? Yes, you never have to ask a Cork man where he's from because he'll tell you. Anyway, so this is Cork down here, uh, just there at the, under the crease of the left knee of the teddy bear that we call Ireland. Anyway, I'm gonna sing a song called Mershon Durkin. And uh, I used to sing this long ago with the Fuchsia Band uh, and we recorded it on a very um, dodgy demo. Uh, Kieran Hurley, he helped us out at uh, Campus Radio in UCC. He recorded it for us. My sister Mara came in and played the whistle and all, I think. Anyway, uh, we put it on a demo and I sent it out uh, to my girlfriend at the time, who became my wife, and she's still my wife after, Mitra. She's still putting up with me. Would you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? And um, she sent it around. She was studying in Kansas City at the time, and uh, about 2004, and she gave it to the great Eddie Delahunt, who told her, go over to Sean Malloy, uh, who had a stand at the Kansas City Irish Festival. And Sean was having a festival a couple of weeks later out in Western Missouri, uh, across uh, the state lines of where Meter was staying. Although the Kansas City Irish Festival is in Missouri, or Missouri, depending on what part of the state you're in. And uh, Irish people get that uh, mixed up a lot. Anyway, it's a confusing town. It's got two cities, Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri. I digress. Anyway, Sean gave me a gig at the Western Irish Fest, and it was brilliant. It was a brilliant gig. Me and my Boron, it wasn't this Boron, this is Brenda 2.0, made by Rob Faulkner, a uh, great man, uh, formerly of Texas, now in Oregon. Good luck in Oregon, uh, Rob. Just do it. So uh, with that, uh, I had the Boron scabies with me, and... Um, we had a great time, an hour and 40 minutes in front of a whiskey drinking crowd in a cellar at a festival. It was brilliant. Um, and I'll never forget it. That was my start in America. Uh, and we got it through this song, really. 
Um, and then Kansas City Irish Fest took us on and then the ball rolled after that and it's kind of still rolling. Thank God. So with that, this is a song from Cork and it speaks about a uh, Cork man, Carney, also known as Martian Durkin. Um, don't get too much into it, you'll get bogged down. And he came over to California um, for a rhyming scheme and uh, came to dig lumps of gold. Of course, the the 49ers, 1849, loads of Irish came here in the gold rush. And uh, are they still... Do they get beaten? Are the 49ers still kicking? Anyway, uh, best of luck in the Super Bowl. Uh, I hope you uh, get four home runs and um, a, a couple of three-pointers from the edge uh, and that the puck doesn't go behind the goal too often. So, um, Mershon Durkin came over to California and when people were coming to California from Ireland at that time, uh, they wrote back saying, that they were so surprised at how different life was here. It was like a culture shock. They wrote to the people in the Blasket Islands, wrote home to their families and said, Tidid Talavanalish. We're in the land of sweat. Talavanalish. Anyway, you work hard here in America, but there's great things from hard work come. And so with that, uh, you can sing along. You can say, Goodbye, Mershon Durkin. I'm sick and tired of working. No more I'll dig the praties. No longer I'll be fooled. As sure as my name is Carney, I'll be off to California. And instead of digging praties, I'll be digging lumps of gold. I mean, I don't know, being out here with a jackhammer or a pickaxe in hard ground in Southern California. Be soft ground at home digging praties, although you deserve to beat the weather. Anyway, we all learn uh, the hard way where the gold really is. And so this fella was a mad rogue. He was courting girls in Blarney, where he'd, he'd kiss the Blarney Stone and a lot more. Kentuck, that's North Cork, and Killarney. That's over the county bones now in Kerry. He went a bit astray there. And then Passage. Uh, he came to Passage. That's where John Spillane lives. Passage West we have in Cork. Passage East they have in Waterford. That's where the Vikings kind of came in and the Normans and everyone else. And then Passage West is where everybody left Uh from the Queenstown that is the Cove of Cork and it was always known as the Cove of Cork and they named it Queenstown when the establishment took over I suppose or when English kind of became part of the vernacular and we when we kicked them out we changed it back to Cove or in the spelling for the American it's Cobb H and uh, Kingstown where's that says you that's Dunleary or Dunleary uh, if you're living up there and so anyway uh, we all came to New York uh, so with that uh, I'm going to sing the song and I hope you sing along with me and I hope you're having a great time and we can't wait to get out out of the door Ireland has opened the door and it's grand everything is grand in Ireland they said we're done that's it we're over Covid is no more and uh, hopefully that's the case um, quite soon everywhere else and that it's a believable story so with that ladies and gentlemen I'm going to give you Mershon Durkin thanks very much for having me hope you sing along in the days I went to court and I was never tired resorting To the alehouse and the playhouse and many's a house besides I told me brother Seamus I'd go off and get right famous And I never would return again till I roamed the whole world wide Yes it's goodbye Marsh and Durkin I'm sick and tired of working No more I'll dig the pretties No longer I'll be fooled for as sure as my name is Carney, I'll be off to California And instead of digging praties, I'll be digging lumps of gold I've courted girls in Blarney, in Cantork and in Killarney In Passage and in Queenstown, that is the Cove of Cork And goodbye to all me pleasure, sure I'm off to seek me leisure And the next time that you'll hear from me is a letter from New York Yes, it's goodbye, Marsh and Durkin, sure I'm sick and tired of working. No more I'll dig the praties, no longer I'll be fooled. For as sure as my name is Carney, I'll be off to California. And instead of digging praties, I'll be digging lumps of gold. Goodbye to all the girls at home, I'm sailing far across the foam to try and make me fortune in far America. There's gold and money plenty for the poor and for 
are the gentry And when I do return again You'll never hear me say Yes, it's goodbye, Marsh and Durkin I'm sick and tired of working No more I'll dig the praties No longer I'll be fooled For sure, it's my name is Kearney I'll be off to California And instead of digging praties I'll be digging lumps of gold Yes, it's goodbye, Marsh and Durkin I'm sick and tired of working No more I'll dig the praties No longer I'll be fooled For sure, it's my name is Kearney I'll be off to California And instead of digging praties I'll be digging lumps of gold Yes, instead of digging praties I'll be digging lumps of gold Woohoo! Woo! I hope you're singing along there Excellent, excellent tune I actually teach that the melody of that as a beginner tune. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice to see you, Martin. We haven't seen him in quite some time. Mm -hmm. um, he looks uh, happy and healthy out there in California. Um, okay. So you guys put some amazing emoji tune names on the chat. Um, as last week, I we have the same problem, which is that um, we didn't actually figure out what they all meant. And so this <laughs> this was not a very well thought out, thought out, thought out game. No. Um, but we're going to just select a few that we really like here. Um, and some came in right at the end there. Uh, we have to, like, I'm going to keep thinking about the emoji game and how to do it exactly right for the next time. You know what it would be. Remember when we used to choose a judge and then we used to choose oh, yeah. a winner and you really didn't like I that really plan? I really didn't like that. Maybe we should go back to doing that. No. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see. Um, so let's, I, we selected four that we like. Let's just, since we have lots of prizes this time, let's do all four of these as winners. Toast just jumped up on the session table, so the camera falls down. That's what's happening. Um, Melinda Halford. I, we actually did figure this one out, and it's simple and great. Star of Munster. Very nice, very nice. Okay, um, my mom. Now, she is my mom, but I, I do actually think that the, the, one, the one that she selected is worthy of a prize. I think it's very good. Um, so this is Cat's Rambles to the child saucepan. And the reason I think it's particularly clever is because she made sure that the, um, the cats, there were two cats yeah. and the rambles were two rambles, two rambles because yeah. One it's for plural. Each cat. Yeah. It's plural. Yeah. So it's, that's great. Okay. Um, Hillary Wagner, we don't know what this is, but it looks very exciting and great. So maybe, does anybody know? Oh my gosh. Toast disaster. Okay, I might have to go manage Toasty. <laughs> okay. Hillary Wagner, tell us what the, that one was. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> uh, Chris will be back in just a second. Hillary, you're a winner, but tell us what it was because we, we didn't figure that one out. And then the last one is Alina Larson. We also don't know what this one is. Five Sheep, Four Goats. Five Sheep, Four Goats, which is not a tune I know, but perhaps you can tell us what those are. Um, okay, those are the four winners of the Emoji Game. Excellent. I'm going to go back and try to figure out everybody's tune names. <laughs> If you uh, would like to tell us what the name was so that we know, you can put that into the chat. And for the four winners, go over to the soundboard and pick out your prize. Let us know in the chat what the prize is so that we can mark it off the, the, um, the list. All right, let's move on okay, to... Melinda oh. Hufford wants Portland Bow. Oh, good okay. choice. Good okay, choice. let me Excellent write these choice. down. And I think Sally wants the lesson. Sally wants a lesson, right? Yeah. yeah, we saw that. Okay, and then uh, anybody else? No one else yet. Okay, great. Let us know. Hillary Wagner's was Scotch Mary. Oh, 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 that's good. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, and what was the other one? Five sheep, four goats. Uh, five sheep, four goats. Not sure yet. We'll have to keep looking. I don't know. Um, okay, and Sally, yes, the answer is yes to your first um, comment, and I, I'm, I don't know to the second one, but I'm sure we can work it out. So we'll send you an email. Um, all right. Um, on the topic of our, our friends and artists who have been producing amazing work, we mentioned Aidan Connolly, um, but also Jimmy Keen just came out with this like immense project called Horse. This is the CD cover, and, and some of you have this on your boards. Um, it is a collection of 192 tracks of music, um, and there's more information about it over on his website. Let me just put the link into the um, chat here. Uh, it is immense and awesome. Um, go check it, check that out. There's some um, limited edition versions of this that come like on a on a zip on a flash drive that's inside of a cassette. Yeah. And I don't know. It's it's it's, it's incredible. A wealth it's, of material. Yes. Certainly. And I really like that he's made it into this big um, this project. So 
um, go check that out. And a copy of that is on our um, prize board as well, if you'd like to check um, out. So Alina Larson has notified us that the name of the tune is, in fact, Five Sheep, Four Goats. <laughs> Uh, wow. It's a Danish tune. Uh, they learned it from someone in the Celtic music community that they're in. I have to learn yeah. that tune. It's, and played by the, it's played by the Danish string quartet. I think that if I play that on session, I'm just going to write it out in the emojis. Yeah. Um, that's great. <laughs> Excellent. Um, okay. So uh, let's move on to a set. This is the set that um, was requested by uh, Mario's in-person sessioneer. I'm not sure if she's here tonight. Well, we hold on. We oh. have a prize claim oh. Oh. from Hillary, okay. Hillary Wagner. Would like the come from away bow. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The come from away bow, right here that might or may not play. You might have to rehear it. But excellent. Okay, that's set aside. And for Alina you. Larson is not claiming a prize. Oh, okay. okay. No problem. Interesting choice. Um, CFA. Not bow. even a tune on a mailing label. That's definitely the most valuable <laughs> yeah. prize on the whole list. Okay. Um. Okay, so uh, this next set of tunes is one that was uh, requested, um, and it is a set, it's three of four tunes from a set on my CD, um, which is called War Below Range, and it is also one of your squares. There it is on your screens. Looks like that. Um, so you can mark that off if you, if you have it. Uh, the tunes are Luca at the Beehive, which I taught yesterday on my YouTube channel. I know some of you came and learned it, so hopefully you want to play it with me here. The second tune is Moving Cloud in the key of F. This is, this is tough. It's the original version of Moving Cloud, um, not the kind of more popular version that most people play. So if it sounds a little bit different, that's the difference. Um, I think the original version, uh, version is a bit a bit cooler and better, but we'll see. You can tell me what you think. And then the last tune is uh, Splendid Isolation, which I've been calling the, um, the the theme song of the pandemic. We forgot about this picture here. Oh, oh yes. The moose, yeah. This is, um, this is the... This is Luca of Luca at the Beehive. Yeah, my, this is written by my nephew. He's the one in green yeah. there. There's three nephews plus a dog. And out the window, hopefully you can see, they are looking at a moose in their front yard there. Um, so this is for, for my nephews. Um, all right, let's do it. F, F, and G minor. Have fun. <laughs> okay, uh, one, two, three. <laughs>
Okay, that was neither common tunes nor reasonable speed. Not at I all. I just realized no. I was trying to start moving cloud at a reasonable speed, and it just it just the cloud was moving too fast. Sorry, um, but I hope you like the tunes. Ooh, 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 okay. Um, those 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 last two moving clouds and splendid isolation are two of my favorites. That's why okay, we had several bingos. Oh my. Okay. So two have avocados a, in the back. That's true. Good. Yes. That's true. This is avocadissimo though. Yeah. And this is original avocado. Avocado. Yeah. OG avocado and yes. avocadissimo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So I'm going back in the chat here because we had several several bingos just come out. Okay. I think Lynn Goldfarb was the first one. Yes. While you're doing this, I'm updating the page to get rid of the... Um... So Lynn Goldfarb, let us know. Claim your prize. Caitlin's yes. updating the remaining prizes. And then after that, we had Hannah Vaidin. Yes. Okay. Hannah, let us know your prize. And who is next? There was another one, I think. Laura Johnson. Oh, your mom. Oh, Oh. Carol Warbelo. Oh, congratulations. Got a bingo. Wow. So she gets she could select two prizes, I suppose. Yeah, Carol, um, you already won a prize, yeah. <laughs> also, um uh, Is that it? Did I miss one? Uh, Alina didn't want to climb a prize because she felt that her tune wasn't in the Irish repertoire, and that is not the rule. It can be it's any not the rule, tune. Yeah. It can be any tune, and you are a winner, so please select if you want. If you want a prize. You don't have to take a prize. Um okay. Okay, Lynn has admitted that she had an early bingo, so oh. Hana, Hana is the first bingo here. Okay, okay. Um, the prizes are available at the Mario's, sorry, the Tunes by Soundboard page, which is tune.supply slash sounds, and I just updated it with the known winners, and I will make sure that I have that right. Okay, Hana Vadin has claimed the word book. Oh, yay! Woohoo! Okay, I was hoping that might. Good, yeah. She might Good select Good choice, that. Hana. So Lynn Goldfarb, let us know what prize you'd like. And so did I miss a did I miss a bingo winner or no? I don't think so. Okay. This is where it gets really chaotic and complicated yeah, here. Too, right many, at the end. too many chats coming in at one time. Why don't you do the community pictures? Because you put those together oh, yeah. and I'll look sure. and see if I can keep updating. Sure, sounds good. Okay, great. Community pictures are next. Okay. Um, so we had a few submissions on the theme of Marvels and what was it? Marvels and Mis malfunctions. Malfunctions. Yeah. Um, this is Angela Botzer. Um, this is just Marvels. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's good. Very good, very nice. Um, that's Marvel Comics, if you need an explanation. Okay, Ara Dadakian sent in a couple of pictures of airplanes, which I have no idea what they mean. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe you can explain. Yeah, it? what's the second one? The um, second picture. second one is a completed okay. airplane, well, and then this one is a broken these airplane. These are in temp temporal wrong order here. I so. see, so number two goes first. <laughs> First, the airplane was in, uh, it was here. It was in working condition, and then it was not in working condition. Um, and I forgot to print out the notes about Ara's story, so I'm sorry about that. Maybe if he's in the comments, he can tell us th the story. Um, mm -hmm. But it's also on the topic of plane crashes. Like, remember when okay. I made my faux pas with plane crashes? Yes. Um, okay, Lynn would like the bow, the other bow. Oh, the other bow. Okay. 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 And Alina Larson would like a Warbler Range CD. Yes. Good, Good. choices. We've got it. And um, that's it. That's all the uh, claim prizes. Okay. Okay. This is a picture of this mine. This is your picture. Yes. Um, but you know what it is. This you is the tell. 42nd Street subway station where Caitlin and I go for work every day. Um, I think this is probably a malfunction. <laughs> Can you believe that this is like like... The number one transit system in the United States, and this is what the yeah. the main, like the big, most, the busiest uh, subway station in the system, and it looks like this. It's it's quite Crazy. quite a disgrace. Um, Gordon Nash sent this in. This is just a marvel. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful sunset yes. in New York. Um, okay, this is from your sister. Oh, oh, this is. I don't know if this is a marvel or a malfunction, but this is up in Fairbanks, Alaska. I didn't ask her if I could use this. I just use it because it's oh, presumably, fascinating. Yeah. This is her track. And those marks on the side are moose tongue marks from licking the salt off of the cars. And I heard that the Fairbanks newspaper was telling people, do not let moose lick the salt off your cars. And my question is like, how do you stop a moose from licking its salt off your car if it yeah. wants to? Um, okay. Okay, Mike Sicarius and Juno sent this in. I don't actually oh, know what this gutter, is. Oh, his gutter, gutter is oh, having a malfunction. That's a malfunction. Yeah. Like, yeah. Juno has had crazy avalanches yes. this year, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and lots of snow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, and finally, uh, TJ sent this, and this is very cute. He said, um, the, uh, the, the marvel was that we were able to do a session last week despite um, me being in COVID isolation. That is, that is true, and that marvel is due to Chris's um, 
marvelous skills with the internet and sound equipment. I have we to also say. had thank you. We also had a um, video submission from Dan Snyder, um, which is falls under the um, category of marvels, I think, but it's pretty creepy. But I'm just gonna play it. <laughs> just gonna play it. And that's from Germany, yeah, right? I don't know what that... Yeah, he said it was from Germany. That's I'm pretty wild. I'm not sure wild. what's going on there. You know, that reminds me of Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, yeah. Did anyone ever go to Chuck E. Cheese? And I they love had Chuck that like, yes. weird animatronic band. Uh, yes. Weird yes. stuff. Um, okay. Um, and you had a video of... Oh, yes. Okay. This is from I was just thinking, Whittier, my, right? Yes. My, my Marvel right now... I just finished reading this book called um, Braiding Sweetgrass, um, which I... It's just... It's, it's about indigenous... Um, and native ecology um, and botany, which doesn't sound like it would be that exciting, but it's so, it is so, such a great book. And um, it talks a lot about how our, the natural systems are the of the of our planet are, are quite a marvel, you know, and that they provide all this amazing stuff for us. Anyway, so my marvel is just the natural world, what is left over it, of it. And um, on that topic, I have a video of some salmon spawning outside of Whittier. Um, Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can just kayak right up and see like the salmon that have already spawned yeah. and the ones that are spawning. It's just incredible. I'm a big salmon fan, if you didn't know that already. We have a freezer full of salmon. Yes, yeah. yes. <clears throat> okay, um, great. Let's move on. We have two more guest artists, including, I know they're probably waiting for through the end. I, know, I, I, folks, I put yeah. them at the end because I was like, this is the grand finale. Yeah. Um, we've got a group from Bali coming up. But before that, one last uh, guest artist before that. Um, Niall O'Leary, who has not been on session in, has he ever been on session? He may, I think this might I be his. I thought he had. I thought he did. I Maybe don't he was know. just on one of our concerts. I think he was on the concerts. Okay. So Niall O'Leary is a, is a multi-instrumentalist and dancer and architect here in, in New York, um, one of my good friends. And um, he, has, he has quite a set for you planned. So enjoy. Hi, everyone. Niall O'Leary here. I am delighted to be here for Tune Supply to play some tunes for you. We're going to start off with a couple of jigs. There's. Willie Coleman's jig, the cordal, and then we're going to break into a reel, the old concertina reel, and um, I've got my accordion, I've got my spoons, and we've another instrument which is fairly new to Irish music, uh, which you'll see later on, called uh, the vertical keyboard. No dancing today. As I explained to Caitlin, um, she wanted horizontal format, but I dance vertically, so it didn't work out uh, today, some other time. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, we have a button sticking, can't have that. Here we go. As they say in Kerry, where my people are from, nice and steady. One, two.
dum 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 Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
Okay, I'm going to op update those um, while we do our final guest artist. Uh, it's actually six guest six artists. Six guest artists, yes. Um, coming all the way from Bali, Indonesia. Yes. Um, a, a couple weeks ago, it was like 3 or 4 a.m., and Chris said, look at this group I found on YouTube. Um, oh, they had some, uh, Rio had written a yeah. comment on our YouTube and we had gone and found his stuff and we were like, oh my gosh, they're so good. We have to ask if they want to be on the session. Yeah. And they said yes. And so we are going to end our Omicron um, virtual session guest artist with a set from them. Um, thank you to everybody around the world who has joined in both in the comments and in the, in yeah. the tunes. So this is the Celtic Room Band coming from Bali, Indonesia. Yes, I, I realize I just sounded like this is it's done after this. We're going to play one more set. After yeah, yeah, this, so yeah, stick around. Yeah. But um, yeah, okay, here we go. Selamat pagi, selamat siang, selamat malam, dimanapun anda berada. Welcome everyone. Wherever you are, welcome to Celtic Room virtual session. We thank uh, Tune Supply to invite us to join this program. We are the Celtic Room Bali. I will introduce our band from my very right, Bang Rio Herwindo. He's been our band leader. He's a violinist, a fiddler, and violin teacher. And next to me, Veronica Padma. And she is a student. Yes. Student a third year of Indonesian Institute of Art. Yay, hey, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Eva Primananda, I almost forgot your name. Eva Primananda <laughs> is a Dr. Eva. Uh, he's a general practitioner. He's, a, he's on whistle and then sometimes on boran, sometimes on shaker. <laughs> Next to <laughs> Dr. Eva will be Bang Jul, Julius, uh, Julius Hirgar. He's an architect and a whistle player. He plays low whistle and high whistle, mid whistle. <laughs> and then in the end of the line is Margaret and Neat. She, yeah. yes. she is the only Irish girl in Ooh. our Irish band. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, at least we have one. <laughs> <laughs> so we, are, we invited you all to join us. Oh, in this session, we are going to play a jig set contain of four tunes. The first one will be Humors of Glen Dark in a key of D. And then we change key to G and play um, Have a Drink With Me, yeah. right? Yes. And then we go on Blackthorn Stick also in the key of G. G. Yeah. Yes. And then towards the end of the song, we change the key of A. And then we play yeah. our last tune, which yes. is the cash in key of G, yes. Yes. correct? Yeah. All yes. right, <laughs> so let's all join us and yeah. enjoy your drink, enjoy your musical friends, enjoy your instrument, and we meet up in, in our tunes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
an audience of sound. Lovely. Um, yes. <laughs> a double sound effect. Lovely. Um, awesome. So awesome. I we also... really hope that we can make it to Bali someday and play oh tunes gosh. with you guys. That's yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, I like that they're all barefoot, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. so cool. They're very on trend, right? Oh, man. Um, yeah. It's Irish music is everywhere in the mm -hmm. world. Uh, nearly everywhere I've gone, I've been able to find a session, even if I don't speak the language. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's so cool. Um, okay, so there's going to be one more set of tunes here. Um, I What do we do about the bingos here? Uh, well, I think we should... Uh, we've had a number of bingos, so I think we have to cut off bingo at this point, right? Okay. I, I think... I don't know. How, let me look how many prizes are out. There are some, a couple of prizes left. Okay, let me just say, before we figure out what's happening here, if you have one, very important, send us an email because we have not had a chance to keep up. We need like a bingo. Selamat pagi. Oh, Oops. Okay. <laughs> we need a bingo manager. Send us an email um, with what you want and your address if we need to send it to you. Um, for those who picked shirts, please go and look on the website and on the store and make sure that what you want is in stock. The, the store is currently up to date with the stock of t-shirts. And um, so that's over at store.tune.supply. Um, before we play our last set, I just want to say um, thanks to everybody who's been supporting Tune Supply all along and especially during Omicron. We are now going to, of course, stop the virtual sessions, but we'll keep going with these other initiatives that we've been talking about. The only way that we can get you that information is if you are... Um, uh, friends with our Tune Supply page. What's our? Oh my God! Follow us on Facebook. Follow us and, on Facebook. <laughs> and Instagram. Although we're not super active on Instagram, um, or subscribe on YouTube. Or yeah. Like the video that helps us a lot. Or you get a mailing list. The like us on Facebook. The primary that. way that we can get the information to you is through the mailing list. Um, so so if you want to hear the next stuff, please please sign up on the mailing list. We promise we won't spam you or send you anything except for cute cat pictures. Yeah. Um, true. and also I, I just want to say, you know, um, keep supporting musicians if you, if you can, especially uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up and a lot of gigs are back, but a lot are not, um, back and many people are still not back to their normal, uh, careers. Um, and I don't think that they'll be going back for a long time. I think this is going to be a, a fundamental sea change for musicians. So, um, buy the music when you can, you know, a lot of stuff is available for free online. And everything with Dunes Fly on, on YouTube channel is free, but um, it's not free to make or it's not free to pay the musicians. So it's, I, I know you guys are so, so generous, but um, I'll just, I, I, that's kind of our mission is to try to um, help help musicians actually make, make a living. So thank you very much. Lynn was wondering what our email is. Tunes at tune.supply. Yes. And it's on the screen. And Caitlin will put it in the chat. Oh, I will. Okay. Here, I, will. I can put it in the okay. chat. <laughs> Okay, uh, great. Um, final set here. Um, I think that there would be potentially some bingos here. We're not going to be able to organize the bingoing because we're going to be playing. So how about this? For the people to get bingo from now on, put it in the chat. Send us an email with what you might like from the tune list, and we will tell you if it's still available or possible when, when after, after you email us. I know that's not the most elegant solution, but other, I don't think we can manage it any other yeah. way. And um, d it's fun to write bingo in the chat, so <laughs> just keep, keep writing it if you, if you have a bingo. Uh, last set, big one. I know we're, this is like the longest session ever. Inishir. Um, Helvic Head, which is a five-part jig. The only reason we're playing this is because it was the most requested tune when I asked people what tune they wanted to play on the session. I was very surprised. So we're going to play Helvic Head. Um, There's probably one person requesting it ten times. No, no. It wasn't the voting. It was actual people requesting okay. it. Uh, yeah, I, it's very interesting. Okay. And then we will play Flowers of Edinburgh, which was also requested. And we will end with a classic single reel. Uh, Mountain Road, and that will finish us off for the night. After that, we'll say goodbye. Stick around for the credits because Chris has prepared some extra special stuff. All right. Just one time through in a chair. Ready? <laughs>
We didn't receive any knocks on the door from any neighbors yet. It's not that late, yeah. No. <laughs> well, we'll just tell them this is the last of the virtual sessions for now. Oh, that was fun. Also, uh, not reasonable speed, but it's the last. It's the last set. It's the last so set. We go crazy on the last set. Um, okay. So here, so for anybody got bingo, first of all, Heidi asked if the cookies are taken and they are not. not and taken. I would really love to make some people some cookies. I've been meaning to make um, cookies for the staff in our building. And that would, if, if somebody wants the cookies, that will make me make a triple batch. So um, if somebody orders the cookies, that means I get cookies too. So that's true. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So for anybody, here's what we're going to do. For anybody who just won bingo there. Send us an email if you want something from what's left on the on the on the Tune Supply um, soundboard, and we will tell you if it's still available. And if it's not, um, we will hope that you win bingo next time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, thank you to everybody um, for coming. Chris will do the official thank yous, um, but oh gosh, I don't know if I can remember oh, everyone. This is the, this is yeah. the test. Um, but especially, I want to thank everybody who has contributed during the Omicron session. There yeah. are a lot of people. Truly. Um, and uh, it, it has made us possible for us to pay the 49 musicians um, a, a session wage. And, and I, that warms my heart. It gives me shivers just thinking about it, that, that we've been able to do that through this continuing difficult time. So thank you very much. Do you want to attempt it? Sure. Um, let's see. We had nine sets, mm -hmm. nine guest sets. So we had Alistair and Anna, thank you guys, mm -hmm. and Marilla coming to us from Ireland, and Kendall and Katie down in Texas, thank you both. We had Carolina and David in Medellin, Colombia. We had the Celtic Rim Band in Bali, fantastic. Um, and we had Niall O'Leary here in New York, and we had Brian Conway yeah. up in Pearl River. Yep. And who am I missing? Martine. Martine de Cogan in California. Mm -hmm. I th and was that it? I think that's it. That might have been it, right? I think that's it. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank oh, you all to all of our special guests. Toast has entered the Thank picture right Toast. here. Oh, at he's the end. back. Yeah. Hi, Toasty. Um, great. So we will we will leave you now. It's it's way past everyone's bedtime, and uh, if you do want to stick around for for three or four more minutes, Chris has prepared some um, credits. So keep in touch. Please get on the mailing list so we can keep you updated. And mm -hmm. it's really been a pleasure. Throw um, a few bucks into the oh, yeah. uh, contribution bin if you have a few bucks to spare. We appreciate that. Yep. Helps us to pay everyone, of course. Yep. And we will let you know what the next supply of tunes is yeah. <laughs> whenever that happens. All right. All right. Good we'll night, see you everyone. Next time.